Hello everybody, welcome on back to Random Rosters inside NBA 2K24. My name is Sean, and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you can catch a double header of NBA action inside of NBA 2K24's, uh, what's it called, My Eras, where the uh, rosters have undergone a fantasy draft. So, if you want that, be sure to scroll down and subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up, let me know that you want to see it, let me know that you like it. I'm going to run this series for the next, I think there's... Four more installments coming out before, or maybe three. I think this should. This is a Wednesday, Friday, yeah. Uh, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, and the next Wednesday, and we'll see if it's not getting views. I might, uh, might get might um, abandon it. So we'll see what's uh, what happens. Anyway, we're gonna jump in here to uh, the daily view. Last time I gave the players fun uniforms, so we might do that again today. Oh. I did not realize that this was a game. I think my eyes completely glazed over it. Oh. Did I look at the wrong day? What are we on? Oh, no. We're on the wrong day. Wait. Hold on. This video has to go up here on the... Oh, darn. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> that would have been such a good... That would have been a good day to look at. Um... You know what? Negotiate trade, accept offer. That's fine. I'm accepting all trade offers. Um, so let's do this. We'll simulate through the date. Uh, have CPU adjust the rotation. Ooh, boy, that's not good. Daily view. Okay, this looks more correct. We can take a look at, what did I, I pointed out games last time, I thought. But I don't remember what they were. Probably take a look at Magic Nuggets. I didn't write it down. Oh, Sean. Past Sean, you're really, you're really doing a number to future Sean over here. Um, where is... Uh, November 20th. And then that was Monday. So then Wednesday. Okay, so this is the 22nd, right? November 22nd. Okay. Um, daily View. Magic are so good. I feel like I accidentally didn't. Oh, that's right. I was going to look at these two games right here. I saved. I friggin' I saved the game. Why save correctly game? Anyway, um, <clears throat> last time I gave them, I gave everybody fun uniforms. So we'll probably do that again this time around. Uh, and I think we will just take a look at those two games that I was talking about. We'll look at. Raptors, Pacers, and then we'll take a look at Grizzlies, Rockets. I don't believe we had any of those teams on the last episode, so we should be good there. This Nuggets Magic game is a little tempting. Seven and seven versus eleven and three. We're kind of in the same boat here with the Raptors and the Pacers. Um, Paul George. Eh, nah, we'll we'll just go with that. So we'll go Raptors Pacers here, play game, um, and then we'll advance. And we will edit uniforms, association. We can go ooh ninety nine to oh five. We'll do that or ninety seven to oh five. Oh, we do we go ooh ooh, I like that. We'll go, let's go classic home, 84 to 90. And then we can go over here to the Raptors. And you know, we're going to, you know what we're going to pick. We're going classic away, 95 to 99. Absolutely 95 to 99. There we go. All right. Those are the uniforms. They are set. They are ready to roll. And we will get ju jumped in here, get ready. Great for another exciting night of NBA action here with another edition of the NBA on where I will Sports. at one point or Join another I will tonight, learn Hill and Steve Smith. I will learn I promise Anderson, I will learn how to Porter, save Allie these LaForce. franchises correctly and the new power Ugh, only the first month of the season but a chance to check out it? some early returns you take a look at the Raptors they're still the top team in this six. league sitting at number one 
You know, right now for Indiana, it's a little surprising that they're the number one team. I think the Magic would have a shot at that. If they want to move up this list, it may take better focus and commitment. So let's take a look at the starters for the Toronto Raptors. Jackson out there with Wimbledon. Save the JPEG correctly. Let's take a look at the standing or the starting rotations. And for the Pacers, we'll go 11. 21. Then there's Al Horford, One. then it's Walker no. Kessler, 22. and it's Tatum, and it's Two. a small forward. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, Grant, and we it's all Thanksgiving know tomorrow. Be thankful the for the video that you're going to get tomorrow night in the Washington State oh, Cougars man, dynasty. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Of course, the easy it's a flippin' nightmare. To say the turkey. Uh, but for me, it's, so it's get, the get excited for that. Uh, I'm going for that. I Tavius Caldwell, Pope the out there. Two, Pope out there. Uh, I don't know why I said that in a weird way. Let's see. Houston Rockets. I can't think of any fun like Houston Rockets uniforms. We'll take a look through. The Grizzlies will be able to use some of their old Vancouver uniforms, so that'll be fun. Raptors Pacers oh, uh, getting started here with a basket with the Toronto Raptors taking uh, taking the early lead. Tatum outside. Jason Tatum has incredibly short shorts. It seems like even compared to his teammates, short. Nah, 24 out there. He's got some short shorts as well. Excellent. They didn't bother to, like, they didn't bother to give him, like, a normal, like, the natural thing. They were just like, nah, just have the, just have the shorts from back in the day. There is a nice splash home and a fast start for the Houston. Houston. Good God. Toronto Raptors. I saw the red and I got confused. And they're not even wearing red on the court. They're just, it's the logo that's in the corner. They're off to a fast start. The Pacers missing their first couple of shots. Minyama, Wemby, baby. Andy Cortez, check this out. What if he didn't play for the Spurs? Oh, my God. Okay, well, maybe maybe should have picked the other game. A big who can hit smooth three-point shots. Anthony against Porter. Eight to nothing. We're not even 90 seconds Pass into this Warford. game. Back to Anthony. Will it go? Of course, we did accept that trade as well, so we are working with some new pieces here. Um, and then we they did have the like the one blowout loss, so I wonder if I accidentally kind of tore this team apart. They're they're looking pretty okay. They were seven and five. But I don't Toronto, really actually even want to be in control of any so of these teams. The I, that's why I'm just accepting the trades. Probably shouldn't worry about that. Maybe actually look into it. But. Some new pieces. Nice nice steal there by Tatum. Or at least that. Wiggins. Nice job to knock it away. He'll get on Wiggins. Sets the screen. Works around. The Hortford the, draws the double First team. The kick to three. Simmons. And that's a three. Even with a hand in his face. The wow, no I, I was surprised that the first the player shot. did not take up or take the opportunity for the three and kicked it to a contested look, but what do I know? They uh, so they got the shot down, and it is quickly out of hand, but we did see an out-of-hand game in the last uh, last episode. It got a little closer. They weren't able to pull it all the way off, but they did make it competitive. We'll see if the Pacers can get any into any sort of flow here. Leaving Wemby open is not a great plan, but Kessler comes away with a shot and rebound. Kessler, maybe trying to drive inside, thought about it. Porter Jr., though, excellent steal. And there is a nice fast break and a finish by Wiggins to make it 13-2. And early Yikes. on, they've uh -oh. been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. You know what? Sometimes, the pace sometimes you just get bad games. We've had plenty of bad games in, in front. ESPN so NFL primetime to does too. The Raptors making which their went up shot. yesterday morning. We'll be crowning a champion in that game next Tuesday. So be sure to check that out. Uh, head over to YouTube or uh, twitch.tv slash Rex tomorrow morning. And uh, just leave it on. Leave it on. No matter what's playing, leave it on. Wemby, deep two, rimmed out. Indiana, trailing here. Indiana. Ooh, see if they can make a change. I, I think it was the Boston game that looked like it got a little out of hand early, and then they were able to make a nice run. Um, Washington went up on Milwaukee, and Milwaukee made a really nice run and never relinquished the lead, but 
So Boston's kind of the team you're looking at and going, okay, if they can make a couple of pieces change, weather this early storm, we rarely see a team stay this hot through the entire game. You can see Wemby just not able to find his stroke. Stays a nine point lead. Teams have kind of, teams have at least made it interesting. That's a nice job by, I believe it's Anthony, to uh, make the drive. Wemby comes over just a little late. He's able to at least pick up the foul. They rank near the bottom in a lot of defensive categories, and that has to change, and of course, they know it. And he makes a first. Some changes for Indiana. Boucher's checked in for Horford. McDaniels first shot comes up for and Jason good. So we'll see some substitutions. For Four changes there for a the Toronto Raptors. And we'll take Toronto. a look at how many Eubanks, changes they make for the Indiana Pacers. Three changes on that Andrew side. Ross, he's and that helped the Pacers get back Alex into Jones this in game. Well, the Raptors have earned quite the reputation. They knocked the lead down to seven after a, a red hot start from this Toronto Raptors team. Screen gets set up, drives inside. Nice contest by Boucher, who doesn't pick up the foul, but still provides a bit of a contested look there. It's just a nice kiss high off the glass and in for two. So 15 to six. Against Jones. Anthony, the pass to Boucher. Back Boucher to on the inside, kicks back to three. Anthony. Anthony from the corner. He He's one that would have been such a big and three, but he can't get it to now. drop. They're on a 15 to six run. That was a weird time to put that note in there because the game is literally 15, 15 to six. Left now in the first quarter. Looks like they might hold for the final shot. Maybe not the final, final shot, but they're going to drain this Five clock as much as possible. Jackson draws the double team, kicks back out to Jones. Jones with an open look at a three, and he'll make it a 12-point game as we head to quarter number two. Couldn't get it to fall. That's what I was talking about. I talked about it in Monday's video. The deep shots, especially from guys like Curry, they're the natural shooting motion, not that hook over kind of a mess. But, uh, oh, and by the way, another copyright claim came through on the other video, so I don't know what to do with these interstitials there's like i think one specifically that gets uh gets called so it's been an awful start for the indiana pacers who traded away a couple of their pieces before yesterday's game and they got absolutely blown out and that trade did not pop up when i had originally simmed through the days to take a look at the next games up um so re-simming it brought the trade up I think that's been pretty so detrimental because they got quarter, blown out in yesterday's game and they are getting game. spanked here we'll early. 18 to 6. And Maybe the highest scoring, scoring quarter right we've seen Toronto. from well, a team from that uh, Toronto Raptors first quarter. I can't think of another. Uh, maybe, you know what, there's probably a fourth quarter in there somewhere that we watched because of the intentional fouls, I would guess. That would be the contender for, like, the highest scoring quarter, 18 points. Oh, just can't get it to go. It's a good look, and it rimmed around and just popped out. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing their last matchup with Orlando. And it was an awful game defensively. Oh, they man, that would have been actually kind of a good game to watch. They're both very good teams. Point blank, this is Into a the corner, Jones. You're looking to get stops, that's not the way. Off the screen, drives in the middle. Floater over the defender's outstretched arm. Comes up empty-handed. The the Pacers don't have to, I mean, obviously they can't get them all back at once, but just chip away. Plenty of game left here. Going for that screen. That's a look at a, they're going to give him a three, he wasn't sure there. Trent Jr. coming up with a big basket there. Lead down to nine. That's six points in the first quarter. That might be the lowest we've seen in a quarter. Six points. No, we've seen teams get shut out in the overtime period. That is only three minutes, though. But anything times zero is zero, so. Oh, keep getting him the ball. Six points for him. And he slices the lead in half. Two-six. 
just the regular season losing importance. You know, B.A., there's a great up an open look there for three if you're the Pacers defense. Keep this rhythm rolling. I'm Trent Jr. again. Give it to the man who's hot. Doesn't have to go taking a heat check three or anything. In range, driving into the paint. Up, 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 and finally gets it to go. All the way down to four. Eight points on three for three. The rest of team, the team has six points on two of nine. Jones against Brown. Launches it. Trent Jr. may honestly save this game for the Pacers, and this is what we're looking for. It does get a little worrying, especially in the first quarter when they're getting blown out by 12. Make a quality change here and there. Another two from Trent Jr. He is absolutely on fire. This man is molten lava. That's how hot he is on the floor right now. Raptors with a timeout there. They have scored nothing in the past two minutes and 20 seconds. Meanwhile, the Pacers have ripped off 10 in the same span, and they're all from the same dude. One guy, 10 points, making this game interesting. 18 to 16. You have to, you have to leave Trent Jr., and you cannot possibly take him out. It's a good timeout by Toronto. I'm surprised maybe they didn't take it a little bit sooner. But I think you kind of look at it and you go, it's one guy. He'll miss eventually, and then he didn't. Wemby inside, Jackson Jr. with a slam. And the first points of the quarter finally come for the Toronto Raptors at the 235. Ooh, that a three from Tatum, nothing doing. And this Man, with the Pacers, this is not the Pacers. The oh, season. are they going to be a charge? They are going to call that a charge. Charge on Wiggins. First personal on him. Gatorade. Substitution here. Some changes for Indiana. McDaniels is checked in for Jason Tatum. And Anthony subbed in for Brown. So here... Off the turnover, it's a great take on that charge there to flip possession of the ball. Pass to Kessler. Inside to Kessler. I think they might have taken out their hottest shooter. That's a nice find inside. It's a great play. 7 for 15. Boy, that, he came in and like single-handedly saved this game for the Pacers. He scored 10 points. Perfect shooting. We see a nice little shot there from Wemby. And we get the updated field goals. The Pacers are 7 for 15, but they are... Three for like ten, and the other guy is four for five or whatever. Might even be four for four. Horford with it. Back to Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope spins inside, drives to the lane, and he's gonna step on the baseline. Turnover will give the Raptors the ball, and my goodness. Oh my goodness. One point three blocks a game this season. Most rookies doubling. Who block a lot of shots also have a doubling. hard time staying on the floor. The next he's closest been and he's been good. contender, Chet Holm. Drive inside, he'll draw a foul. Kessler picks up his first as a shooting foul. Go to the line for two. A bucket, a foul, or both. Win Ben Yama. Two shots from the line. First one goes. Pushes it to a 23 18 game. As the Raptors make uh, substitutions and changes. And both free throws good for Wimbanyama. And the big fellow with the skill level showing a soft touch at the line. Jones against Anthony. Horford is screen on Jones. Here's Anthony. He hits Anthony with a loss balance shot, but hits it. Aggressive move. Takes Cole Anthony in the paint. I like no that. Help Maybe not as difficult a shot as I'm thinking. Nobody really went to block it or anything. They just kind of let him and have it. Left in the half. Even all over Miami by, was it 16 points? Jones with the ball. He's got five. Jones with Anthony on, on him. Jackson. Portford looks like a bit of a like switch there. Wemby for three. three. Yes. He'll get it to go. And it was only a matter of time before he was going to start heating up. Got three assists now in this As we take a look at Man, Jason Wimby Tatum up. on the scorer's table. Now here's Anthony. He's got six. 
Pass through to Anthony. Anthony with a nice little move inside. Tried to high kiss off the glass, but couldn't quite get the angle right. Rims out off the front side, and it is the Raptors ball again. Wemby again, deep two, got it to go. And this Pacers lineup is just does not look good. It, it's just not like a good, look like a good team. We're going to hold here for the final shot of the quarter. There's a three up, but no good. Wendy comes away with the rebound, and we are heading to halftime. 29 to 20. Ugly start here for the Pacers, but they got saved early in the second quarter to cut the lead down to two. But they subbed him out, and they have not been the same since. Thanks so much, Rick. What did you think of your team's offensive execution in the first half? We got to get it moving more. We got to get it driven more. Uh, they're very physical. You try to run plays, they blow all that stuff up. And so, bottom line with our offense, we got to give some more stops. That'll help our offense. Defense leads to offense. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. Realize I we'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. Here. With that, we'll get this third quarter rolling, and I'll step away for just a moment. Well, well, they aren't getting a hand up on the shooters, and the numbers show it, Shaq. Guys are too good in this league to give them easy looks. You're Okay, Here's a look at your Eastern Conference Eastern standings. Conference Pacers still hanging around in there, but they're going to need to, to get better the starts here if they want to stay in that seventh spot. Top ten teams do make the playoffs. There is the play-in tournament, so you want to be in that top six. Seven, eight, nine, they play uh, that, that play-in tournament. Gary Trent Jr., ten points. He came in off the bench, lit a fire under the Pacers team. Wemby, 14-2-1. And we'll see what happens here as half number two rolls along. I will be uh, will join you in just a moment. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Victor Wimbanyama really making a difference here. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Al Horford out there with Jason Tatum. Then it's Walker Kessler. Then there's Anthony. And it's Caldwell Pope in at the two-guard spot. That's the five for the Pacers. Here's Kessler. Over women, Yama. Hits the front of the rim and out. Pass to Porter. Jackson, left side. The kick out to Wiggins. 4 3. Kessler with a rebound. Kessler went with that same spin move inside and then tried to beat Wemby with the same shot early in, or not early, but in that first half. Still missed it. Caldwell Pope, he stepped on the baseline. I was going to say he was dangerously close, but he stepped on it. Indianapolis, four games back. Look at Toronto in second now, but wanting to claim that top seed. And of course, Indiana, they're five Long spots season, behind them. So, well, right now a lot Toronto, can change. Many of us experts earmark them as favorites this season. And you know what? They have not disappointed thus far. They're just getting Jackson warmed up. Jr. inside, Al Horford so far, on him. That is just too easy. Beautiful to spin better, move off the glass. As we get deeper into this season. Junior. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. Spin. You must Bank stay aggressive. In. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. Here's Anthony following the bucket by the Raptors. Outside, Caldwell Pope marked it down low that no, time. Violation. Off second. Oh, great. An off second on offensive. Games, Ugh, I can't even say it. Points in the last 10 games. Pelicans second, number one at 54. This team has been on an absolute tear offensively. Raptors just ahead of the Pistons there. 
Offensive three seconds, so we'll turn the ball over. And we will see a timeout from the Raptors. 31-20 here. Expansion. Seattle and Las Vegas are mentioned, but Mexico City is another strong candidate. Commissioner Silver said, quote, I feel our manifest destiny is to grow, not just in the U.S., but outside as well. Man, With don't put success, Seattle in. Ali, please don't put Seattle in like that in the O. I mean, international expansion is a way to do that as well. You know they love basketball. Ali, thank you. Just, just give it, give Seattle an NBA team, please. Come on, hello. Remember when they taunted Seattle with uh, Sacramento's team? Now we'll move the Kings to Seattle. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Simons finds Porter. The three from Wimbyama. Wimby for three, but can't get it to drop. He's, he's had a lot of good looks, but just hasn't been able to seem to find much of a rhythm. He heated up a little bit in the second quarter, but then come out of half a little cold. Oh, a nice little find inside. I like that play. It looked a little messy, but Caldwell Pope comes away with a nice easy two. Lead down to single digits. The Raptors for the lead. On the wing Porter. He's guarded by Porter Anthony. had the defensive Pass player Jackson. beat there and just was not aggressive enough to the basketball or to the hoop I should say. Horford just getting absolutely torched Jackson's inside. Too easy. You know, he backed him down with no problem the and then just the up and in with again no teammates. issue. Spin move for Anthony. Now here's Anthony. Oh Tatum looked like he had an open look at a three for a moment before it closed. Isolation basketball is here. Kessler sets the screen. Trying to work. Oh my goodness. Kessler, you got to go up. Hortford for three. He gets it to drop, but the shot clock expires before it leaves the hand. Gross. Gross. It is so frustrating to watch. They've only allowed these, two points so far in the second half. These uh, teams that run the kind of just like isolation and stuff, they, 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 he wasted like 18 seconds with the shot clock. That is a really nice little floater, though. Just when you thought maybe Indiana could start to make a bit of a, a head into this lead, they have a pretty dumb... To Horford. Back to Anthony. 24 second violation. Outside you go to the three Daniels. second offensive violation as well. Horford's going to have to just jack up a three. He gets it to drop that time before the shot clock expires. But again, a four possession offensively for Indiana, taking entirely too much time before doing anything. The lead down to 10, though. Simons against Caldwell Pope. Kessler on Wendy over there. Wendy's going to take the three. He'll get it to go. And the Pacers will take a timeout with 122 to go here in the third quarter. Hasn't really been much of a game. These are the kind of games that are maybe the most frustrating, especially when we watch, when you like the mascot tournament um, in March. You have a team, you see a lot of teams that are like the Pacers. They fall behind early. They're able to kind of claw their way back into a game. They get a nice run to get it closer. I think the Pacers were down at one point by two, I want to say, like 18, 16, something like that. We've gone about and then three and a half here into the third. you go like, okay, we're going to have a game, and then Brown it's a timeout or an adjustment or substitution by the opposition, and they are able to reestablish their lead, and then the, the team that tried to make it interesting, the trailing team, just never... Never really makes much of an effort. Uh, Indians not led in this game. Pass to Jackson. Jackson like not even. Team. I can get that up Hulford over the outstretched arm. It was a really nice play by, right play by Jaron Jackson Jr. Just a little, and his a to little higher. Understood who was on him defensively and saw exactly where he needed to get that ball so it wouldn't be blocked. 40 to 27, under 45 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Anthony driving inside. That's a weird decision. Caldwell Pope can't let him 
I can't uh, help pay off the decision. From deep here in the third for three, Robinson. Pulls it in. Miss for Toronto as we go back in the fourth outside. couple of missed threes Three here. Anthony had a clear lane, easy two, and then like went up and threw it. Portford draws the double, three. Anthony for three. Yes. Clean three look and buries it to cut it to ten. Anthony's got 11 points. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Here's Jackson. Oh, Jackson's going to draw the foul. Good the foul way. on McDaniels so for his first personal. Did not get the basket. If he gets the basket, it's a bad foul. You don't want to give him the end one opportunity, but making sure that he just shoots two from the line. Not terrible. And the first one at the line is good. Some substitutions here. They bring in their hottest player. The Pacers. He might still be their leading scorer. Yes. It's both Trent the is on the floor. The teams that were Seven point six. Jackson Jr. Tatum what they saw was a brings it up the modern day center who could defend. Bling brings it up, I should five. say. Ooh, he has it's a nice three there. One eight to go. Down and nine. And Raptors so don't bother to take a shot, and that is where we will leave it. The flow of the game has favored them in general. Forty-two, thirty-three, something like that. And more I was gonna look, but then it disappeared. Coming your way right after this. Okay. The weird thing is when it, it does the copyright, it only happens once per game. You like theoretically, or once per video, you theoretically wouldn't it be twice? Unless, because they do switch the commentators. Maybe it's a musical selection for those commentators. I don't know. It is uh, it's a little frustrating, but you know, whatever. No big deal. You guys, you take your hay penny. You enjoy it. You enjoy that one extra one cent you made. And now we have a moment to All reveal right. our State Farm assist of the game. State Farm what, assist of the game? No we met Jake from take State Farm. The precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why I was the assist of the game. Some of the most spectacular oh, what an incredible pass. And he like handed, him, he handed the ball another. to him. Couldn't have placed it any better. Yeah, because he was about two inches away from him. All right. 42-33. Can Indiana make a bit of a run here to make this the remainder of this game interesting? We'll find out. Oh, that's a good start for the Pacers defensively. It wasn't a great defensive possession, but they do get the miss. Feels like when the... Kicker misses a field goal. Oh, good board. What is that three, Jason Tatum? Holy cannoli, that's a terrible shot. You are way beyond the arc, shooting and very off balance, falling away. Nice little basket right there. Somehow the pieces are shooting 50% from the floor, which I just don't believe. Tatum against Robinson. I do feel like it's when the kicker misses the field goal, the defense is like, yeah, we did that. And it's like, well, did you? He pushed it left. The wind took it. The defense, the wind is on the defensive side. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. Jason Tatum leads the NBA in points per game. Interesting. I love that you can get everything else to like to be the same so like the the, um, the length of games that we play are six minutes or five minute quarters excuse me and then being able to have all the simulated games be five minutes is so fun to me Tatum oh, it's not a great pass Brown was looking all kinds of the wrong direction but a, a really nice job there by Brown to turn around and Get that, uh, get that basket to go. About a minute and a half. Okay, eight point fourth, game. Jones up top, defended by Brown. Trent against Simons. Here's Nora. A quick passes over there. Oh, that's a clean look. That is a very open three. You can't give that to a professional basketball player. That's been a staple of tonight's Bad. game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. 
Indiana down to their final three timeouts. I believe they'll get down to the final number of timeouts here in about 10 seconds. I thought it was two minutes, but maybe they bumped it up to the three minute mark. A big group substitution here for Toronto. Victor Wimbanyama's checked in for Eubanks. Jaron Jackson comes in for three minutes. Interesting. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Hortford, who has done kind of nothing and been a liability on defense, in my opinion, back out on the floor. They brought Gary Trent Jr. back out onto the floor. He was electric when he came into the second quarter. Don't know that he even, honestly, don't even know that he touched the ball uh, here in the fourth as the Raptors push this lead back out to 14. That's a nice find inside. Nice assist. Cole Anthony with a terrific finish off a great pass from Jason Tatum. I'd argue a nicer pass than the assist of the game, which was more or less a handoff. Pass from Simmons was unnecessarily flashy. Pacers need a couple of good defensive possessions here. They're going to give Wimby an open look for the long two. Horford comes up with the rebound. That's a good defensive possession. Asterisk. Here's Tatum. Oh, you step on the line. Tatum can't get it to go. He left it a little short. Drives into the paint, finds Wemby. He works his way to the top of the key. Now here's Wimbanyama. He's covered by Kessler. Oh, nice screen. Good job making sure that Kessler has to fight through it. Clean look for Wimbanyama and can't put it away. All right. Pacers got about 30 seconds here. Tatum to Hortford for three. Second time we've seen that. The Pacers with a really easy opportunity for two and just whipping it back for a three-point shot. Makes the offense much more diverse. Toronto has gone two of four from the One good defensive possession here and another three is before we hit the one-minute mark. The Pacers might have a shot at trying to get back into this game. I just don't trust it. We've watched them all game long. I make I made a run here and there. Pass to be with a couple of pump fakes. Good defense here. They're going to force a final second shot. That is a terrific block by Kessler. Now the Raptors are going to get the ball back with point four on the shot clock. that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. Even know if they're going to be able to get the shot off. No, they are not going to be able to. So a couple of the shot clock violations in this game, one for each team. A little more damaging for the Pacers, I would argue, because they took way too much time and then they made the shot that didn't count. Whereas the Raptors, oh, Tatum for three, it rattles out. They've led by as many as 14. That is brutal. Just brutal. Caldwell Pope against Simons. From behind the arc. Not going to go that time. All right, Pacers go. We got to go. We got to go. Tatum has taken some pretty awful Here's shots. He's going to drive inside. Get the That's foul, but can't foul. get the basket. The Simmons with his first personal. personal foul. I just. Yeah, this was a Pacers team that. They came out flat. And, I mean, credit to the Toronto Raptors, who did a terrific job. They weathered that storm early in the second quarter, to, uh, quarter took a good timeout, made the adjustment. They let it get close-ish after that, but the uh, Toronto Raptors in control of this one. I feel like it's going to be a Hornets-Raptors Eastern Conference strike. final, just on the early stages. We, both of those teams have looked very good so far this season. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Shouldn't see any sort of now intentional foul or anything happening closely. here. Just some to Jackson. sticky defense. Now if you get one more shot to, to Jackson. One more shot up. Six on the shot clock. Here's Wimbanyama. Oh, and Wimby's gonna get the foul down. and Two one. Kessler's second personal. Yeah, it's going to help them extend this lead to 10, potentially. To get it done despite the foul. Come on. One shot. And the free throw, no good. There's Tatum with the three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Tatum was bad today. 
I would I would argue Jason Tatum did not look good on the, in this game. So it's Toronto picking up the win. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and just a, they were focused. So many shots we saw from Jason Tatum were just like fall away off balance and deep threes. stepped up 100%. 54-45, and the score is going to be a lot, look a lot nicer than this game actually did. Thanks for joining us tonight. Benyama, your player of the game, he was fantastic. I actually did not realize how effective he was in the first quarter, because we saw those stats um, of him at halftime, and I didn't realize how many points he had had. Especially, like, what stuck out to me most about him in the first half was how many good looks he had that he wasn't able to put down. So... Uh, box score there. Anthony with 13. Trent Jr. with 10. All of those in the second quarter. He was perfect. Four for four. We saw him in the fourth quarter, and I don't think they ever gave him the ball. Um, Jason Tatum, a pretty abysmal night. Seven points on three of 12 shooting. Gross. 22 points for Wemby on eight of 14. He was four for seven from three. Ten for Simmons. He was 50% from the floor. Jaron Jackson Jr., a very nice four for five. He goes... For 10. So there you have it. Uh, Raptors plaster the Pacers. And like I said, uh, the final score a lot kinder than the game was. So scroll down here. Eh, that Nuggets game wasn't particularly close either. So that's that's fine. This may, be the, may have been the best game of the day. 57-54 Wizards over the Hornets. Um, Celtics, they continue. They are just, they are so bad. They have two really slow big dudes, and they're just a bad team. All right, uh, 54-38, we saw that score. Let's go out to Houston to check on Kawhi Leonard. Take it on Drew Holiday. I, I think it's Devin Booker, but I, I wasn't 100% sure. Let's get, some, uh, let's get some fancy uniforms going here for these Rockets and, uh, what's it called, H-Town? Old Houston, eh. I feel like they don't really have a... Oh, there you go. Okay, 95-03. That'll work. I will probably tend to lean towards those because that's what I recognize. Um, classic, and we'll give them the... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. Rockets, Grizzlies, game number two. I'm getting ready here for that action. And we're going get to the, get the lineups here from the Toyota Center. And that is the fight at the Toyota Center. Great breakdown from John Boyd Media about a fight that happened at the Toyota Center. James and Weisman. He's this is a great place. Jabari Smith, I can't do it. I don't have the vocals for it. Jabari Smith! Oh, that hurts. That hurts. You want to cough. Oh no. Oh, my little throat. I forgot about Markel Fultz. I think I said that last time we saw him for Houston, and I'm sure that I made the comment. I was like, oh, I didn't know he was a. I don't play Thompson. Go Cougs! Oh, a Cougar and a Husky on the same team. Did not make that reference last time, but I'm sure that I said Markel Fultz didn't realize he was still a starter potential in this game, but Kawhi Leonard. I'm a little surprised that the Rockets don't have a better record. I mean, with Kawhi Leonard and Clay Thompson? Of course, it could be a streaky kind of team that's like, man, when they are hot, they are hot. But if they are not, they are ice cold. Who knows? Who knows? That's why we do it. That's why, that's why we do That's why we do this. That's why we do the work. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now, these the new power rankings. They tell a great story. You look at Memphis, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And seeing where the, the power rankings are, you know, the Pacers number nine. Rolling, a lot of belief. I love and some of the, the fan bases in the uh, We'll see if they can keep this up. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Isaiah's going to be a good one. Then there's Devin Booker. 
Then there is Jonas Valanciunas, and it's Holiday in a point guard. And for the Rockets, Wiseman's out there with Smith. Devin Booker. Then it's Mark Clay Thompson, your key then matchup. The presentation aspects, I think, are really nice. I like the power you know, ranking Brady stuff. We get the standings frequently. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your wonderful family, Greg, and to those of you at home as well enjoying this on 2K Sports. All right. Well, thank you, Kevin. And just Rockets win the tip. God, those Grizzlies uniforms are beautiful. Around, you know the season is officially afloat, and these guys love playing around the holidays. Now here's Wiseman. Leonard inside. Hook shot up and good to the Rockets on the board first. Up on the board here for Houston. And the first of many to come. Oh, do they put the Do they put the Christmas uniforms in here? And if everything goes to plan, this could be a very fun matchup to watch. Thompson against Booker. The jump hook and Stewart. Oh, nice play on. inside for the uh, Memphis Grizzlies. Well, jump hook. Line. A good start for both teams, two to two here. And so it's Philadelphia all over Cleveland, 57 to 35. And this yeah. is the first season matchup for them against the Grizzlies. Two division rivals facing off the Who was that? Markel Fultz with a really nice runner there. It just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure? Who needs defense? You know, defenses? hey, at least both teams are scoring Under early in this one. Stewart, he's going to draw the foul, shooting foul on Smith Jr. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Alan Shunos out there. Yeah, they even gave the KD and Steph Curry Warriors a run for their money. Look, the James Harden era. First free throw up and good. Love that it says Vancouver. They're trying to get this uniform is just like really nice. I like the patterns on like the the arms and the the neckline. Am I gonna sneeze? Do I have to sneeze? Finger ready to mute the mic. Nope. Okay. All right. No sneezer. Don't worry about it. Ooh, the second one doesn't go. And Smith Jr., who committed the foul, comes away with the rebound. Finds Fultz in the corner. Interesting to see him kind of be the primary target when you have Clay Thompson and Kawhi Leonard on your team. Can't make the pull up jumper, and it'll be Vancouver's, uh, Vancouver's Memphis's ball with the uh, opportunity to retake the lead. Booker driving inside, pump fakes, but doesn't get anybody to go up. Goes up a second time. Somehow splits both defenders, gets his own miss, and puts it back in. First lead of the evening for the Memphis Grizzlies. The Rockets have gone two or three here to start off the game. Pass to Smith. Here's Thompson. Some nice Thompson, the Wiseman. Now Wiseman. Coming off a 12-point game. Leonard. Deep three and a clean look thanks to the very nice screen. Wiseman coming off a pretty good game. Wayne at Golden State, 12 points on 5 of 8 shooting. Memphis back with the ball. Tankalan Shunos is going to hand the ball off to Booker. Booker trying to drive on Thompson. He can't really get a whole lot of room, so he passes to Drew Holiday. Holiday with uh, Markel Fultz in his face can't get it to go. 5 4. Still. Not a lot of touches here for Clay Thompson. There he finally gets a touch and passes it right back to Smith Jr. Fultz off the screen, clean look at a three, and it rims out Stewart with the rebound. Holiday finds Booker. We'll probably put the Christmas uniforms in as like a $95 microtransaction. Stewart for three, an excellent pass. I believe that's Booker on the assist there. Unsurprisingly savvy pass by Booker, setting another Just guy up for success. Fire away from forcing a shot. Straight away, straight on, straight on. That's that's the better. Smith Jr. is going to get a screen from Clay Thompson. Doesn't quite draw the. The circus shot is up and good. I love like what? Hey, hey, what? Stewart with an incredible play. We don't even get a replay on that? Come on. No replay? The circus shot. Oh, wait, no, because he actually, sorry. He didn't get the play. It was the Rockets who had the play. Terrific play by Smith Jr. Sorry, I got very confused there. On the free throw, no good. I'm sure that's going to sound good where I go, wow, he's doing this whole thing, and it's like, that's the guy who fouled him? Can't put the free throw away, so it remains a two-point game. Nice drive inside. Look at that from Drew Holiday. 
They love to compete. Absolutely beat Smith Jr. Nice job. With, I like the like kind of the the two hand like low. Just hold on to it. And, like crouch the legs as much as possible. Get it up. Try to get it in. Four point game. I'd like to see Thompson and uh, Kawhi Leonard a little more involved. Of course, as I say that, Thompson can't get the shot to fall. Holiday now with the ball. He's going to find Bridges. Bridges wide open three and can't get it to drop. That is a surprising miss from him. That's how open that look was. Quick passes over to Thompson, who finds himself isolated by the Toyota Center logo. He'll find Wiseman. Back to Thompson. Thompson catch and shoot three. Rims and rattles out. Bit of a cold Houston Rockets team. They aren't facing a super hot like Toronto Raptors team that we just saw there. This uh, Grizzlies team has been just as inconsistent as they have. Oh, and he's going to step on the baseline. We'll see some substitutions here. Stewart, Tate, taking a seat there. Thompson will check it in. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter. Even Chenzo and Clay Thompson, the two starters on the floor for the Houston Rockets. Thompson he kind of slipped there as he came in around the, the corner, screen. Even Chenzo in the corner. Let's get the screen set. Oh, that's a nice find. Pay it off at the three, and he does. Lead down to one. I love that play. DiVincenzo with an absolutely fantastic Here's find in the corner. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. He's going to get the shooting foul there. Little will pick up his first personal. First tip to the line for him here. Two shots. Four and a half seconds to go here in quarter number one. Grizzlies making a switch here. Booker back on the floor. Oh wow, full substitution or full uh, full change for the Memphis Grizzlies. Any one substitution for the Houston Rockets, getting Kawhi Leonard back on the floor. Two, one, half court. Couldn't get it. And we have a three-point game, 12 to 9. Neither team obviously running out to a big lead. Neither team, uh, neither team really feels like they're in that much of a rhythm. Obviously, Memphis has been the slightly better team because they have the lead, but I wouldn't uh, count on that continuing, the, the coldness to continue for the Houston Rockets. The first possession of the second quarter. We're going to push this lead out further from just three. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Booker, mid range jumper, gets it to go. A little step back two there. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but both road teams have looked uh, pretty good here. Can you beat oh, wow. That was a, going to be a really fancy pass, and then it was intercepted. Marshall outside. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. Oh, he Marshall, looks like cool. Kawhi Devin Leonard kind of gave up. A, up empty down low. Kawhi Leonard dropped in there to provide a double team, but then quickly put himself back out near the three-point line to defend uh, the other player. If you maybe get that ball out, if you recognize that instantly, you might be able to hit him outside in the for a stop and pop. For a catch and shoot, not a stop and pop. Catch and shoot. Come on. 
Come on, Sean. Kind of like, uh, come on, Houston. Maybe make some baskets here, please. Oh, a fumble. He like, just ran into the guy and lost a handle of the ball. Kawhi Leonard, DiVincenzo. He's going to pick up the foul and the basket. Nice job by DiVincenzo to fight through the contact. Uh, maybe a little surprising that he was able to get through the contact. It, that was a weird looking shot. His hand was pointed like down. I had to be careful of my angle here. <laughs> but his hand was like kind of going like down, but the ball like whoop. Help the game, Sean. Help it. Help that game out. So he'll go to the line, cut it to, two, to a two point game. He makes the free throw, and it's 14 to 12. You look at Houston's roster. They are here. stacked with high-level athletes. The Houston Rockets have done a great job of adding players that they feel can add strength and cultivate skill. Oh, my skill. goodness. That was just an awful pass. We've seen a couple of really terrible passes here on both sides of the ball. The circus pass for the Rockets that turned into a turnover, and then that valley -oop was awful looking. There for the uh, six. Memphis Grizzlies. So as the shot clock winds down, it's gross possession, and he gets rewarded for it, which isn't really what you want to see in that scenario. Hold on to the ball and then just kind of dribble for a while. The Rockets with the lead, first lead they've had in a while. They maybe get a lead at five four. Nice job with the offensive board. Tate with possession. He'll kind of just run into a Houston Rockets player again. Goodwin with a look at a three, and he responds to a three with a three. And Wall will bring the ball up the floor down two. Rockets with a timeout here with 2.42 to go in the second quarter. As I remember what I was going to look at. Heisman's checked in for Achua. Smith comes in for Mr. Little. Thompson, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And Markel Fultz is checked in for John YouTube Ruff. studio. Memphis also making some changes. Thanks everybody Stanley for all the support. Jesus Appreciate it. Over the years, we're about to enter year in six of me making Fultz. content. Five years of mostly like daily stuff. We'll be doing uh, season number four of Mariners. Baseball, you find a wise man. That is a just beautiful. That is an early contender for the State Farm assist of the game. That is a terrific pass from Markel Fultz. And a streaky Wiseman puts it home to tie the game at 17. Why Leonard and Clay Thompson both very quiet in this game. It's been a very interesting game to watch from that perspective. You get excited to see the Houston Rockets and who they have. Available and then first weird looking play. Got four points this quarter. It doesn't matter what you throw at him, Booker just finds a way to seemed make like it go in. Seemed like he moved quickly through the air in a way that did not look natural. We've got but Booker comes up with a two and oh, retakes the lead 19 to 17. Back into the paint for Wiseman. Smith Jr. on the outside. Yeah, he's the sixth youngest player. Everyone except for the two best players on the team have touched the ball. There, Kawhi Leonard finally gets his hands on it. Five seconds on the shot clock in the corner. He's going to need to find something from the corner for three. That is, that is bad offense. Bad offense. Booker. The screen set for him. Mid range pull up. Beautiful stroke right there. 8.6 from the mid range for Devin Booker. And it's a four point lead. Something about this Houston offense, it just feels wrong. Wiseman's a good player. Not arguing that. Fultz feels like a weird, like. Point person? Like point, I don't know, point guard? I, I just, I don't know. Like, why isn't it going through Leonard more frequently? Why isn't Clay Thompson getting more touches? Well, Stewart loses the ball. Clay Thompson just cannot pick it up off the floor. Wiseman was also involved in the play. End up forcing kind of a wonky shot. He's going to draw a foul. Kawhi Leonard will go to the line to shoot two ridges of his first personal. 34.9. 
We see Kawhi, Kawhi averaging under 10 points a game. First free throw up and good. With the Grizzlies, Richard, there's so much talent. They just haven't made a big run in the postseason. Yeah, it's coming. They've lost to the Warriors and they've lost to the Lakers the last two years. Both of these teams just have a tremendous amount of an experience advantage versus the Grizzlies, and it's shown. And the Rockets making a change here. The Rockets Both make both free throws. And and Kawhi Leonard makes both free throws. You can always trust him. And it's 21 to 19. They'll get one more shot at the at an offensive possession. With the about a 10 second difference between shot and game clock. Wiseman. I mean, Valanciunas is just like just too powerful. What happened there? Somehow he missed the shot, but I felt like it was way too easy. Leonard, top of the key, trying to set a screen for him. It's going to wind down, and he can't get it to go. So a two-point game as we head to half. 21 to 19. Has it really been pretty on either side? I mean, the, the Grizzlies have looked like the better team. I'm just astounded by how the Houston off, uh, Houston Rockets are running their offense. We got double bike mascots today. As we head to the half. Hold on, as we head to the half. Okay. I hit A. I promise I hit A. Glad you. Their physicality on the boards has been weak. Giving up too many extra possessions. I'm on. Otherwise, they might uh -oh. be ahead. And let's oh, switch God. gears for a second. <laughs> Checking out social media. For some media. reason, I thought that was going to say, Don't like, your game. And that's all Trash. for us. Now it's time uh, to let's see. Isaiah to Stewart, 6.5 rebounds for the Grizzlies. Kawhi Leonard is the top performer with four points, no rebounds, and an assist for the Houston Rockets. What? Color me confused, folks. Really even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a quick one as both teams try to gain an edge. But kind of like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. He's done a fantastic job at finding open Perfect space. game, best game ever. In the first few quarters. Maybe they should take those microtransactions and fix their hitboxes, huh? And they're just going out and executing it. Yeah, there's something about that logo that just looks so nice. Like it looks kind of hand drawn in a way that like is appealing. Kind of weird that there were two like Pacific Northwest teams. If you want to qualify the Grizzlies as that in Vancouver. They both don't exist anymore. Well, I guess three. Portland's there. I don't know. My bad. Portland is there. Nice three. I believe that's James Wiseman with the basket there, and he'll close the lead down to one. As we get started here, third quarter. In the lane, Booker again. I forget, the breakdown was that he had, I think, eight points and then six in the mid-range. I think that would qualify as a mid-range shot. So Booker really controlling and controlling that uh, that area of the floor, especially offensively. Getting good looks and making them count. Wiseman inside to Leonard. Leonard kicks to Smith. Smith for three and buries it. We are knotted up at 25 apiece. He actually a place for the Rockets. A little bit. You can tell because he has a real picture, not like some, not the in-game photo that puts a jersey on him. Also, if you didn't watch it, fourth and final part was out for uh, Kofi breaking the NBA using the My Era's feature, which is very cool. Um, it's a very cool feature. I like what he did with it. I can't imagine how much work went into that video. I think at the end he said it was like four months or something like that. I was like, man, that, that is unbelievable. Like charting and doing all this stuff. Great series. Highly recommend it. So a timeout from Memphis. Scoreless thus far. Booker again in the mid-range. Looked like he was going to try and find a shot. I thought he picked it up, but 
Instead, he'll work inside in the paint on Clay Thompson. Weisman was in a really good position to lend a little bit of assistance. Clay Thompson out of position there. I guess Booker wants to play with his food before he Give him eight points in the paint on 14 total points. Kind of like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. Like the Venn diagram of like points in the mid range, points in the paint, and then the middle section is both. Not working. The Rockets quick to take a response timeout. And he's in the top 20 in assists. Wow. Wow. Give it up. I, I hit A. I promise I hit A. Hit the A button. Put him in the top three in steals. Also, his tremendous anticipation. Okay. He's constantly all over the basketball. And by game, I mean phone. I'm trying to erase notifications. Fultz against Holiday. Fultz with Holiday all over him. Thompson, clean lift from three. Doesn't get the basket to fall. And the Grizzlies will come up on the fast break. They'll get it into the hands of Devin Booker, who has been lethal from the mid-range. Right as I say it, he can't get it to go. But Valanchunas. Valanchunas? Kunis with a terrific offensive rebound and a slam. Get away from me. Get away from me. And here's Fultz. All right, lead out to four. Pretty disastrous timeout use for the Houston Rockets. By far, by far from the worst. Play outside of it, out of a timeout, but not great. Leonard spin move. Leaves it short. Valanchunas comes away with a rebound. Right now. Good opportunity here. The Grizzlies to just keep massaging this lead out. Booker again. That's got to be another mid-range shot. Crossing over. He's 16 points, eight from the mid-range. We all know. We also know he has eight from the paint. Now I'm not sure if those are two separate stats. But he could have 16 points. Everything in. Um, inside of three. Screen, easy call. Look, guys get away with this all the time. But Just a couple extra game. points, like he a layup. Achua, he's checked in for it's, it's weird that those are kind of... I guess it does. So. Oh. Oh. What is happening here? Houston is falling apart. Dwight Leonard, finally the focal point of this offense. He should be the first guy to touch the ball coming out of the... off the baseline. Can't get that to go. Tries to sweet move in the paint and it just does not work. Nine nothing run. Kawhi Leonard four points on one of seven in shooting. He does have two assists. It does kind of help his stat line look a little bit better, but it's been pretty bad. I think it's just because he didn't get into a rhythm early. Maybe not just, but he didn't get into a rhythm early with the way they were running some of their sets in that first quarter. Have to start to force it towards the, the end of this game. Fultz with the ball. Thought he was going to maybe take a three, but passed it up. Draws the double team. Got a kick to number five. Number five is right there. Tries to swivel through the lane, but he can't. It's blocked on the fast break. Tate. Excellent defense there down low. I'm not sure who that is. It's Fultz, I believe. He does a great job of going up, not committing the foul. Wow. Uh, providing solid defense to Here's alter the, the shot. Leonard off the screen, Here's drives mid range, rims out. Shula, he'll find Thompson in the corner, corner, or Thompson does not shoot it. He'll find an open Leonard. Leonard again can't make the shot. And he continues to be ice cold. And they cannot cut into this nine point lead. 30 seconds to go. Bridges with a three, but that won't go. Shua comes away with the rebound. Holds to Wiseman. Wiseman hands off to Thompson. He passes to Leonard. To Fultz in the corner. Shua, good look at a three, and he can't get it to drop. Uh, the Rockets. Here's Tate. Puts up a deep three. He scored like three points in that quarter. How many points did they score in that quarter? It could not have been that much. It, what was the what was the score at the half? 25, 22, something like that. They really did. They really just score like three points, four points maybe.
That is a brutal quarter for the Rockets. But they do get some misses from the uh, from the Houston nope from the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, kind of keeps them in this game. They got to get off to a better start here in the fourth quarter. See if they can pick up some points immediately. And this has just not been Kawhi Leonard's game at all. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. <laughs> Why did you do that? God dang it. How are you, by nine. How are you so sensitive the sometimes? Yeah. To start the fourth. Sorry, I was trying to mute the microphone. Christian Wood is out there with Miles Bridges. It happened the other day when I was recording the NFL where I was like, oh, I'll cough. And I tried to use the touchpad. And then I moved. I like looked away and then like didn't realize that it was still on. I was like, ugh, gross cough. Ugh. Anyway, a good start for the Houston Rockets to pick up three on their opening possession of the fourth quarter. It's a kick to Goodwin. Looking for the screen to get set. Not a great screen. Really well defended by the Houston Rockets. The, def the defender was sticky on the screen. Allowed the, uh, the defender that would have switched. Allowed him to stick with his man. And oh, a chill. Oh, we couldn't get it. It was really well run by the Houston offense. Good on the defensive end, really good on the offensive end, just can't get it paid off of the basket. Goodwin's going to drive, kind of runs into his own player. He'll find Marshall in the corner. Back out to Bridges here in the fourth quarter. Oh, that is up and in. Three-pointer is good, and that'll push the lead out to 11. And this is, I mean, you look at the lineup, and I looked at the lineup this in the early stages of this game for the Houston Rockets, and I went, how is this team this record? They're 7-6, seven 7-7, and six, seven and seven, whatever. Treading water at 500 and just kind of like, yeah. Then I watched them, and it's like, oh, this is this is why. I get it. I see it now. Okay. They're, they're not a good team. Gotcha. They have all the pieces to be a really successful team, and then they just have a really weird way of running their offense early in this game. Here we go. 3.38 to go in the fourth quarter. Houston, take the timeout. They're going to come out of this timeout. Fultz with the ball. He's going to drive into the lane. He's going to kick to Leonard. Leonard fakes a pass. He's going to get a screen. Drives. And so about to step inside the... Uh, three point. Oh, was that? So is yeah. The oh, it was a nine point game, not an eleven point game. I apologize. And they call an illegal screen. Oh wow, an illegal screen on Goodwin. So the Rockets are gonna flip the possession right back. I was too busy doing doing bad math. You gotta blow the whistle when it's that. Thirty-seven twenty-eight. Nice two pointer by Leonard to step inside that three point line to cut it down to. Seven. He's checked in for Precious Achua. Smith comes in for a little. It's a really nice pass inside. Good decision by Wiseman to just go up with the ball. Nice little hook shot. Really terrific offensive possessions there for the Houston Rockets. They get the illegal screen call. Now to cut this lead down to five. Thompson fights through. He's going to get called for the foul. That is a really nice job by, I believe that's Booker. Booker's going to get more points in the paint, and he's going to get to polish off, or the opportunity to polish off a three-point play from the free throw line. He can do it. 40-32. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep. Just dropping triple. Why Leonard works to the top of the key. Working some moves there. There, trying to drive into the paint. He's starting to get a little bit warmer. 42% for the Houston Rockets from the floor. Feels like a game that the Grizzlies should be much further ahead in. But they are kind of letting this Rockets team pescally stick around. Booker, though, has been... I mean, he has been so good. And I, everything's come from the mid-range. The only reason he has uneven points is because he polished off that three-point play. Leonard turned around. I do not like that shot at all. That is. It's been a lot of the Houston offense, especially from Kawhi Leonard. Really weird looking shots. 
Booker, rare miss from him. And that bails out this Houston Rockets defense. Wiseman will set a screen. Fultz into Leonard. Leonard gets a drive to his right. Moves back to his left. He goes up and in. Tate's going to pick up his first personal foul. Leonard will go to the line to shoot two. Why Leonard playing for the Clippers now? First free throw up and good. Touchdown deficit with 1.36 to go here in the fourth quarter. Some both. Nice work there. This is a point in the game where if you get a chance to close the gap, you've got to make the most of it. Stewart with the screen on bolts. Oh, can't leave him. Tate wide open for three. Oh, a defensive meltdown. And it was a what was it? I say it was a six-point game. It's now a nine-point game. Leonard in the lane can't get the basket to fall. Memphis leading by nine. This Rockets team is kind of gross to watch, honestly. Clay Thompson not nearly as involved as he should be. I I wonder what his uh, shot attempts in this game are. It's like three. He has to take just five on the clock. From past the arc. Nice job on the defensive side by Clay Thompson. He'll get pulled of the ball. Work it up the floor. Pop a three. Thompson you got to go. Don't have time for this. For Pump fakes. Gets it up. Gets it good. 49. Or 45-30 uh, down. Excuse me. 38 seconds to go here. And you got to see the intentional fouls. It will help the game along. We'll get one more intentional foul. As we'll try to extend this game. A couple timeouts for each team still happening. Booker. Booker will bring it up for Memphis. Okay. Ooh. What's happening the right now? Okay. And so they choose to I kind of like it. I mean, you get the intentional foul. They throw it in from the side court. Maybe try to trap him a little bit in the back, in the back court. Not, not the worst plan or play in the world. One seed breaks half court though. I think you got to foul a, a little bit quicker. Is there a line for two? First one's good. Gets them both, and it's First an free throw. Now a timeout Second free throw is good Houston. as well. So eight They're point lead. Eight. Oh, man, Blimp Cam. We love Blimp Cam. Well, I love Blimp Cam. I don't know if other people do. I do. I like it because it's good. Leonard's going to drive. For some reason, lost the ball. Leonard was a Kawhi Leonard was an absolute disaster in this game. He was so bad today. What a terrible turnover. Oh, here's Stewart. Three second difference, shot and game clock. And Valanciunas now atop the key. Just four to shoot. Pass to Stewart. Fires the Stewart for three. That one rims out. Leonard, he'll take one last shot just for fun. So it's Memphis picking up the win. A narrow win in difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to be. What? Why Leonard was garbage all game long and he made that shot? Are you kidding me? This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the new Devin Booker, absolutely your player of the game. He was. He was incredible tonight. Everything came from the mid range or in the paint. He had at least 21 points at one point. I don't know that he made anything down the stretch. Holiday made the couple of free throws. So 47-42, a uh, kinder score than what the uh, what the game was. Both games kinder scores than what the, the game actually was. Um, Leonard, Leonard had 13 points, but he was 415. And if you take out the three that he made at the end, he's 10, he has 10 points. He's 0 for 4 from 3 point, and he's 3 of 14 shooting with, they didn't, maybe it wasn't Kawhi Leonard with that turnover, but um, yeah, it, he absolutely turned the ball over in the last, the final seconds of the game there. Uh, but 13 for him. 
Clay Thompson was one for four. He made one three. There's his lone highlight. That's it. That's the highlight. And that was in garbage time. Eh, crunch time, garbage time. Pretty disappointing outing from him. Uh, and we have Smith uh, Jr. with five points. He was two for two. And you have Wiseman, who was three for four. But then you have Kawhi Leonard jacking up 15 shots. Ugh. Booker was uh, 21 points in 16 minutes, a couple of rebounds and assist. 10 of 14 field goals. He only took one three and he missed it. Uh, one for one free throw. And yeah, points responsible for 24 points. So good for him. All right, let's uh, let's back out. We'll get you caught up on some scores around the association. And then I will see if I can figure out how to save this game. Don't just sim through the day. Don't sim through the regular season, please. Daily view. Where'd we leave off? We have, let's see, the Timberwolves getting a bit of an upset there. They'll improve to 5-9 and nine with a, an 8-point victory over the 76ers. And not the only surprising result, uh, as this one's not surprising. With the Pelicans, they had to... He had a 19-point fourth quarter. Oh, how many points, by the way? They had six. The Rockets was six points in the third quarter. Ugh. Um, they matched the Pacers. We saw another six-point quarter right there. A two-point quarter for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And they fall. That is an upset. That is a that is a surprise. That was a surprise I was talking about. 49-31. It wasn't... Not only did the Bulls win, but they won handily. Not a surprising result. The Pelicans take care of the Kings. They only win by four, but they do improve to 11-4 and four and use a 19-point fourth quarter to help do that. High-scoring affair in San Antonio. The Spurs fall to the Clippers, 65-53. Suns over the Warriors by two, 52-50. And the Blazers pick up a win over the Jazz, 52-46. Last but not least, the Lakers, they beat the Mavericks. The Mavericks... One of the worst teams in the game so far, 54 to 50. Uh, so that'll do it for today's installment. This is uh, the Wednesday installment. So we will be back on Friday for another brand new double header. Um, I'm, I'll look at the games off stream because I don't, I don't know. I, I thought I saved it, but I didn't save it, I guess. Who knows? Will the cough be gone on Friday? Who knows? Uh, you'll just have to tune in to find out. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We'll be back Friday with a doubleheader of basketball. And we'll take a look not only at the scores, but we'll get you caught up on the standings and see how things are shaking out through the first few weeks here of uh, Random Rosters inside of NBA 2K24. I'm running this series through the end of November. I'm keeping an eye on the views and the watch time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. That helps me know whether it's worth continuing. Um... If you don't like the series, hey, that's cool. That's fine. Maybe check out something else if you don't like me or anything else. Thank you for watching, I guess. Enjoy your merry day. I don't know. If you are enjoying it, thanks again for watching. And we'll, we will see you Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time right here on the channel. Cougars baseball returns tomorrow. And uh, whew, that franchise is going well. So tune into that. Other than that, we'll see you on Friday in this series. Happy Thanksgiving if you're celebrating. If you're not celebrating, have a great Thursday. We'll see you on Friday. Good sports. Good night.